And so the whole million metres started after a conversation I had with Phoebe, who is my sister-in-law. Um, she was diagnosed with melanoma and after a 18 month bout of the best treatment that medicine have to offer, has to offer, she passed away. Now, two weeks before she passed away, we had a conversation that I won't forget. She asked me to promise her two things. Um, she wanted me to promise her that I'd look after her sister Connie. And she wanted me to promise her that I would do something to try and change the path for people that were diagnosed with melanoma. Melanoma is a young person's disease. To be diagnosed and then pass away 18 months later, despite the best treatment that medicine has to offer, just isn't good enough. And she identified that. And the strength to carry on. having children I sort of I look at my kids um, particularly I've got a son that's a pasty redhead like me and I really hope that if he's diagnosed with melanoma he'll have a much, he'll have much more of a chance at fighting it than Phoebe did our goal this time is to raise $250,000 that $250,000 will go towards a machine called a Vectra 360, which is state of the art for diagnosis and monitoring of this terrible disease. An Australian is diagnosed every seven minutes with melanoma. It's quite an incredible sacrifice that these boys and their families make. These guys have also got kids and by sacrificing for me, they're foregoing time with their families. And that means an incredible, incredible amount to me and it also means an incredible amount to Phoebe, I'm sure. My drive at the moment is twofold really. It's one, to maintain that promise with her. I made her that promise and I won't stop trying and my best mates won't stop trying until we deliver. If I could talk to Phoebe today, I'd, <laughs> I'd ask her what she thought of what we were doing, whether she felt I was living up to my promise, I hope she would, because we are trying very hard to give future generations of young people a better chance than she had.